Hello and welcome, I am Ankit Teja and you are watching Tech It Out. This week our focus is on the Silicon Valley bank collapse. We tell you how this banking crisis has impacted Indian startups. The internet's latest obsession, ChatGPT, gets a big upgrade. Find out what's new in the latest AI-powered chatbot. And we show you why you need to be extra careful while watching videos on YouTube. Let's get started. The US-based Silicon Valley Bank was known for funding technology startups around the world, and its meltdown has left tech entrepreneurs worried. Even several Indian startups are affected by this crisis. We get you more details in our next story. Over the weekend, two banks failed. You know, it's just scary for the world, I guess, but I, I anticipate there'll be uh, a lot of moving money into the bigger banks. Are you worried, sir? Everyone should be worried. The collapse of Silicon Valley Bank, America's 16th largest commercial bank, has rattled the technology industry. The dramatic failure of the bank, which focuses on startups, is the biggest since the 2008 financial crisis. Note that Silicon Valley Bank dealt with high growth and high risk businesses such as technology startups. Therefore, it was a popular bank among tech startups. The event has left a host of global technology startups in a tight spot, including the ones in India. Let's understand how Silicon Valley Bank's demise has affected the Indian startups. India has one of the world's biggest startup markets. Many startups are clocking multi-billion dollar valuations. They are getting the backing of foreign investors who have made bold bets on digital and other tech businesses. What's important to note here is that Silicon Valley Bank was the preferred place for many Indian startups to park their funds. It's common that many Indian startups choose to be incorporated in the United States. This makes it easier for them to access capital from global venture capital firms. And now SVB's failure is unsettling Indian entrepreneurs. For many early stage startups, their SVB accounts are holding the investment raised by them. India's State Minister for Technology, Rajiv Chandrasekhar, says Indian startups have deposits worth about $1 billion with embattled Silicon Valley Bank. The collapse of Silicon Valley Bank has also put the focus on Y Combinator backed Indian startups. Y Combinator is a US-based technology startup accelerator. It has invested in thousands of startups. 200 of them are Indian. They are feeling the heat of the Silicon Valley Bank collapse. They have a reason to worry about the availability of liquidity for their immediate needs. VCs are cautious about divulging the names of the impacted startups. They fear that it might impede the young firm's prospects of raising capital in the future. There is more. Some Indian firms couldn't timely pull their deposits from Silicon Valley Bank because they didn't have another US bank account readily available to hold that capital. Most people assume, I think, that if they put money into a bank, that money is going to be there, especially for a business. I mean, as depositors, you know, there should be better mechanisms to ensure that our deposits are safe. And to be clear, like I'm not an expert in this field, but it just seems like this is not a great way to do like having to divide your money among four or five banks just so it doesn't disappear one day. It's, it's crazy. I mean, how do you like that should not be something we have to think about. Like there should be better ways. The fallout of SVB's collapse could be far-reaching. Some startups have only limited money in their Indian bank accounts. They could only run operations for two to three months with that money. As a result, they might find it hard to pay their employees in the coming months. Venture capital firms may not be able to raise funds, which means a lot of venture capital investment coming into India would also slow down. Lending to startups would get severely restricted. As a result, they will have to delay processes, downsize, or shut down. 
the entire episode could force startups to adopt severe cost-cutting measures, such as job cuts or hiring freezes. We will continue to track how the situation unfolds in the coming weeks, but there is a pertinent question that we need to ask. Is the Silicon Valley Bank collapse a wake-up call for startups to domicile in India? Internet users have discovered a new virtual assistant. I'm talking about ChatGPT, a highly capable chatbot. Some are using it for fun, others are using it to get their job done. It has become the talk of the town. And now this AI-powered tool has become even better. The makers have released an upgraded version of the AI chatbot. Watch the story and know everything about GPT-4. ChatGPT, a program powered by artificial intelligence, has taken the internet by storm. And now we have an upgraded version of the AI-powered chatbot. It's called GPT-4. As one would expect, this too has caught the world's attention. GPT-4 is multimodal, which means it can generate content from both image and text prompts. In other words, it can process images along with text. Look at this demo. So once again, we can verify that it's making the right API calls. Girls do typically eat nuts. We don't expect them to use a camera or act like a human. So I think that's, that's a pretty good explanation of why that image is funny. It could take a photo of a hand-drawn mock-up for a simple website and create a real one. The latest system from OpenAI can read, analyze and generate up to 25,000 words of text, eight times more than the previous version. It can write code in all major programming languages. The new technology can also help individuals calculate their taxes. The latest version has even outperformed its predecessor in the US bar exam. According to OpenAI, ChatGPT users will soon have the option to change the chatbot's tone and style of responses. GPT-4 is said to be a breakthrough in problem-solving capabilities. While GPT-4 can process both text and image inputs, only the text input feature will be available to ChatGPT Plus subscribers and software developers. The image input ability is not publicly available yet. The subscription plan which offers faster response time and priority access to new features and improvements was launched in February. It costs $20 per month. According to OpenAI, GPT-4 has similar limitations as its prior versions. It is less capable than humans in many real-world scenarios. Inaccurate responses and harmful advice have been some challenges for many AI programs. GPT-4 also poses similar risks. GPT-4 is still not fully reliable because it makes reasoning errors. Another problem is that GPT-4 does not know much about anything that happened after September 2021 because that was the cutoff date for the data it was trained on. GPT-4 is 82% less likely to respond to requests for disallowed content than its predecessor. It scores 40% higher on certain tests of factuality. The AI chatbot is less likely to answer questions on, let's say, how to build a bomb or buy cheap cigarettes. Still, OpenAI cautions that while eliciting bad behavior from GPT is harder, Doing so is still possible. It's part of a new generation of machine learning systems that can converse, generate readable text on demand and produce novel images and videos based on what they've learned from a vast database of digital books and online text. These new AI breakthroughs appear to be promising. Interestingly, they have the potential to transform the internet search business long dominated by Google. Moving on, I have a question for you. How careful are you when you watch videos on YouTube? You must be wondering what could possibly go wrong while watching a YouTube video, right? 
I say your personal information could get stolen. Here is how. YouTube, a video platform that most of us browse daily. Some people use it for education, others for entertainment. We say beware of what you watch on YouTube. Hackers are using YouTube videos to steal user information. Miscreants are using artificial intelligence to create videos that appear to offer legitimate tutorials. The videos have good voiceovers and professional looking graphics. They feature humans which make them appear more familiar and trustworthy. But here's something to worry about. These videos have information that's too tempting to ignore. For instance, sometimes users are made to believe that they can download premium and expensive software for free. The purpose of these videos is to trick viewers into clicking malicious links. These videos redirect people to fake websites to download certain software. And believe it or not, users are falling for it. Once the malicious software is installed on the system, hackers get access to the user's personal information and other sensitive data such as passwords, credit card information, bank account number and other confidential data. According to a report by IT security intelligence company CloudSec, since November 2022, there has been 300% month-on-month increase in videos on YouTube that contain links to stealer malware. In simple words, it's a type of malware that is designed to steal user credentials and send them to a server under the attacker's control. Experts say hackers are turning to AI-generated videos for cyber attacks because they are sophisticated. It's difficult to detect such videos. AI-generated videos could also bypass filters that block suspicious URLs. They can also evade human scrutiny because these videos look and sound like genuine tutorials. Cybersecurity experts are advising YouTube users to be cautious. Verify the information of tutorials and other videos you watch online. Check the comments section if you find any information or link to be suspicious. Also, follow some best practices to stay safe from online attacks. Use strong passwords. Make sure they are a mix of letters, numbers and characters. Also, wherever possible, enable two-step authentication for your online accounts. Let's shift our focus to Apple, the world's most valuable company. The tech giant is dealing with a lot of challenges. It has reduced budgets, delayed bonuses and paused hiring across various divisions to navigate through economic uncertainty. But what's even more concerning is that many of Apple's senior executives are leaving the company. We get you more details in our next report. Apple has a new challenge at hand. Some of the most important figures at Apple who are responsible for day-to-day -day core functions are leaving the company. You would be surprised to know that over the last few months, Apple has lost about a dozen high-ranking executives. Imagine this is the situation at Apple which is known for stability at the top. In past years, Apple may have lost one or two VPs during a 12-month window. Most of the outgoing executives carried the ranks of vice presidents and were just below the senior vice president who reports to Apple CEO Tim Cook. Functions like industrial design, cloud efforts, software engineering, sales in emerging markets and privacy could be affected as all the executives who have left used to oversee these areas. What's even more important to note here is, most of the people who have left the company were Apple veterans. People who have served the company for over 15 years. And now comes an important question. Why are all these key people leaving Apple? The reasons are many. The most important seems to be money. Apple's stock fell nearly 30% last year after three years of major gains. Their pay package took a hit. Understand that in the case of an Apple vice president, 
stock can be well over half of the pay. There are other factors too. It's said that the company has become more bureaucratic over the years. Internal politics and cross-department wrangling. There is also a concern that resources have been shifted to longer-term initiatives. And what's even more concerning? Long-time Apple mainstays who helped reinvent the company are also nearing the end of their careers. This flurry of exits may just be the beginning. It remains to be seen if these departures would have any effect on the company's functioning, sales and innovation. Iran is emerging as a global leader in the production of cheap and lethal drones. Up next, we show you how the country is trying to improve its existing drones with cutting-edge technologies. Iran has come up with numerous drones over the last decade. They're cheap, have a good range, come with flight endurance and stealth capabilities and can counter GPS jamming systems. These drone systems have demonstrated Tehran's advancements in the UAV space. And now the country is flaunting a new version of its existing Shahid 191 UAV. The model is said to be inspired by the US RQ-170 Sentinel drone, which Iran seized in 2011 and reverse engineered to create its own version. Also, it has a similar flying wing design. Interestingly, now new images of the drone are going viral online. We can see a Shahid 191 strike drone mounted on what appears to be a Toyota Tundra. The vehicle is being used as a mobile launch platform. The drone can travel 1,500 kilometers at a speed of 350 kilometers per hour. It can carry two bombs with a combined weight of 100 kilograms. The Shahid 191 also carries a parachute for landing in areas where there's no runway. However, the Iranian drone has undergone major improvements. It now includes cutting-edge avionics and sensor systems. The latest photographs are an example of Iran's ongoing efforts to improve its drone technologies. Having said that, it's unclear if the drone depicted in the new photographs is entirely distinct from the existing models or if it only comes with some key modifications. Iran has made significant strides in unmanned aerial vehicles in recent years. Time and again, officials from the Islamic Republic have emphasized that the nation will not hold back on enhancing its military capabilities. Clearly, Iran intends to be a major player in the drone industry on the global stage. Vulnerabilities have been spotted in Android phones. Microsoft may soon allow users to use AI in office applications, such as Word and Excel. The week gone by was buzzing with a lot of exciting tech developments, and we bring you the most interesting ones in a tech wrap. If you use an Android phone, you have a reason to worry. New vulnerabilities and security threats have been spotted in some Android phones and wearable devices. This means your device is at risk and hackers can access it remotely. According to Google Security Research Unit, various vulnerabilities have been found in certain Samsung chips, and these chips power several Android models. Affected devices include nearly a dozen Samsung phones, Vivo devices, and Google's own Pixel 6 and Pixel 7 handsets. Also, some wearables and vehicles that rely on Samsung's Exynos chips for connecting to the cellular network are at risk. The issue can be resolved after affected manufacturers push software updates to their customers. Until the update is rolled out, Users are advised to switch off Wi-Fi calling and voice over light in their device settings. This will remove the exploitation risk of these vulnerabilities. Microsoft is adding artificial intelligence tools into its suite of Office software. In other words, Office apps such as Word, Excel and Outlook could soon be powered by AI. The new feature is called Copilot. 
It is a processing engine that will allow users to do various things, such as summarize long emails, draft stories in Word, and animate slides in PowerPoint. But the real magic of Copilot happens during a live meeting. Here, you're in a meeting with your team. You can ask Copilot to summarize what's happened so far. You can see who said what, what points were made. Copilot is really capturing the spirit of the discussion. As the meeting progresses, you can check on where people stand. You can even ask Copilot what questions are unresolved. It is just incredible to see this happen in real time. The new features are currently only available for 20 enterprise customers. The company will roll it out for more enterprise customers over the coming months. Microsoft is marketing the feature as a tool that will allow workers to be more productive. China's Baidu has unveiled its much-awaited artificial intelligence-powered chatbot. It's called ErnieBot. The Ernie stands for Enhanced Representation of Knowledge Integration. 650 companies have signed up to use ErnieBot, which can be implemented in a variety of applications such as searches, AI cloud, autonomous driving, and in smart devices. Baidu is among several Chinese firms working on similar chatbots. Well, that's all we have for you in this episode of Tech It Out. We will continue to bring you exciting inventions and updates on the latest gadgets. I will be back soon. Until then, keep watching Beyond World is One. And yes, don't forget to follow us on social media. For now, it's me, Ankit Oteja, signing off.